This topic is on functionally complete set of connectives and this topic is from mathematical logics and this is related to DMS, DMGT and MFCS. And today's topic is so simple that I have taught you about these connectives. So what are these connectives? So already I have said you the connectives are nothing but this is conjunction, this is distinction, this is negation, implication and double implication. See here. So we have studied about the connectives between the propositions that is negation, conjunction, disjunction, implication and biconditional. See here, what is this functionally complete set of connectives? So let me explain you the definition here. Functionally complete set of connectives means the set of connectives. There are certain set of connectives which are said to be functionally complete set of connectives if every compound statement or the statement formula can be expressed in terms of an equivalence formula containing the connectives negation and conjunction or negation or disjunction. So these both sets are called functionally complete sets. So in the question, if we have so many connectives, that is here implication is there, biconditional is there, here there is a disjunction is there. So there are three types of connectives between these propositions. So as they are equivalent formula, see, at last, in final, so if we have negation disjunction or negation conjunction, then these set of connectives are called functionally complete set of connectives. See, for example, the example here is, and let me explain you, the set of connectives, how many set of connectives are there? So many. That is negation, conjunction, disjunction, implication, and biconditional. Among all those, so what are the functionally complete set of connectives? For every compound statement or a statement formula which can be expressed in terms of an equivalent formula containing the connectives. See here, the containing the connectives negation and conjunction, negation or disjunction. So these set of connectives are called the functionally complete set. Example I'll show you. So this is if you consider this is P or Q. So P or Q can be expressed as so the equivalent formula for this is negation of negation P and this is negation Q. So if you send this negation inside, this is De Morgan's law. If you send this negation inside and there is a double negation P or negation of negation Q. Clear? So this is De Morgan's law and if you imply double negation, so we'll be getting P or Q. So in this, the equivalent formula for this statement is this one, which is containing. So which one it is containing? Here it is negation and this is disjunction. Clear? So negation and disjunction, only these two are there. So the set negation and disjunction is called the set of completely, complete set, functionally complete set. And see, if you observe this one. So the equivalent statement for this is nothing but negation of this is negation p or negation q again applying de morgan's law see here this is negation of negation p and negation of negation q double negation it will be p so this is an equivalent statement for this so if you observe this one there is negation here and this disjunction here so either it should be negation or conjunction or negation or disjunction in the equivalent statement now got it and see P implies Q. In P implies Q, so it can be expressed. The equivalent statement here is negation P or Q. If you observe, this is negation and this, this is disjunction. So the set negation and disjunction is called functionally complete set of connectives. We are talking about the connectives. So even though we have implication here, so implication is replaced by negation and this one is disjunction or this one. So we have or here so we have and here so these two are replaced by negation and and, and negation or or so the only two sets of negation and conjunction or negation or disjunction so these two types of sets are called the functionally complete set of connectives and let me explain you vividly with this formula so in this formula we have or and implication see here if you know this, this is conjunction, disjunction and implication. So this will be replaced by the set negation or conjunction or negation or disjunction. So then negation, disjunction or negation conjunction are called the set of complete, functionally complete set of connectives. See, clear, you got an idea. So the fourth example here is, so this one is P or Q 
and R implication P or R. So this R is nothing but disjunction and is nothing but conjunction. So this is nothing but implication. We are we have three kind of connectives. So among these kind of connectives, and let me tell you the solution. I'll give you an equivalent statement for this so that you will be getting a clear idea about the functionally complete set of connectives. The first one here is, so this is nothing but I am applying the De Morgan's law. So what is this De Morgan's law? This is P implies Q. So which is equivalent to negation P or Q. So this is the formula I am writing here. So I am considering this as P and this as Q. So this will be obviously negation. So this is P or Q and R see here or q so this is p or r clear i have applied this formula on this so i have considered this as p and this as q so this will be negation p or q and the next thing here is i have applied de morgan's law so what does this de morgan's law statement state de morgan's law is nothing but p and q so if you send this negation inside so the equivalent state will be negation p and and will become or and negation q so this is de morgan's law so if i apply here the de morgan's law on this then this will become see here if i send negation inside this will be negation of p or q and this and will become or and this is negation or or this is p or r clear and again I am applying de Morgan's law here. So again I am applying de Morgan's law here. So if I apply de Morgan's law then this will become if I send negation inside this will be negation P and this is negation Q or this is negation R or this is P or R. So if you treat this as A or B or C. So this is A or B or C. So I am applying the associative law here. So if I apply associative law, see here. If I apply associative law and interchange the brackets, then this will be negation P and negation Q. This is A or this is B or C. Negation or or this is P or R clear and here if you see observe properly i am applying commutative law here so if i apply commutative law as commutative law states that a or b is equal to b or a so if i apply so this will be negation p and negation q or so this is negation r or so if i interchange this one or or p clear this is commutative law. A into B is equal to B into A. And next, if I interchange this one, so this will be negation P and negation Q or, so here I can write as negation R or R. So again, associative law or P. So I am applying associative law here. So here, this is negation R or R. So here, I am applying the negation law. So according to our negation law, so negation law implies, so this one I am showing you negation law. Negation law is P or negation P implies true. So the answer here is true. So P or negation P or negation P or P implies the value here is true according to our negation law. So if I apply here, this will be negation P and negation Q or this is true or P. So next one is domination law. So if I apply domination law here, according to our domination law, so we have P or true, which is equal to true here. So I, I am getting true here. So this is negation P and negation Q or according to our domination law, we got true. Again, if I apply Domination law here that is P or true is again true here. So which is equivalent to true. So this can be expressed as. So according to our idempotent law. Which law this one is? Idempotent law. If I apply idempotent law. And see this can be 
written as as a negation law so this can be written as p or negation p and this can be this true can be expressed as p or negation q and next one is according to our negation law so according to our negation law this can be so p can be written as double negation of p so this is double negation of p and negation p and q can be expressed as double negation of q and this is negation of q so if i apply this double negation so if i take one negation outside if i apply de morgan's law so this will be negation p and p and if i take negation from these two outside according to your de morgan's law this is negation q and q so if you observe this one so this is an equivalent statement which is containing negations and next one here is conjunctions so we have only two set of uh, uh, collectives the one is negation so here negation is there and next one is conjunction is there therefore the set therefore the set negation and conjunction is a functionally complete set it's a functionally complete set for this equivalent statement see here it's also very easy so if you follow so we have disjunction conjunction and implication in our equivalent in, in our statement so this can be expressed in terms of here as an equivalent statement i have expressed this in terms of negation and conjunction so only negation and conjunction are seen here and that statement negation and conjunction is functionally complete set so this is how we have to solve this one so whichever the statement whichever uh, the connectivity is there so if you are able to express the equivalent statement in terms of negation and conjunction or negation or disjunction so that set is called the functionally complete set of connectives see here the example here is also so we have negation and conjunction here also negation and disjunction and here also we got negation and this one is disjunction and here in this statement also we got the connectives as negation negation and this one is conjunction so this set negation conjunction and negation disjunction the set of connectives negation conjunction and negation disjunction are functionally complete set hope you all got an idea on this functionally complete set of connectives as we have many set of connectives here as negation conjunction disjunction implication and a biconditional set so if any equivalent statement or a statement formula which can be expressed in terms of an equivalent formula containing the connectives negation conjunction and negation disjunction then that set of connectives are called the functionally complete set so this is very very simple concept if you understand this concept you can express using an equivalent formulas and we can express any kind of set of uh, connectives in terms of negation conjunction and negation disjunction so that it will become the functionally complete set of connectives thank you so much for watching i hope you understand and if you really understand please pass it on share your knowledge with your friends with your siblings and with your junior seniors Um, whomever you like the most and if you really like please watch the playlist so many videos are uploaded for your preparation it will be damn easy if you follow those thank you so much for staying till the end